Hey, what is going on? My name is Trey Cockrum, and I just wanted to break down for, you know, those of you who are entrepreneurs out there running a consulting agency, coaching business online, you know, you've got a service that you're providing to a B2B market or a B2C market, whatever it may be. Some of the takeaways that I had uh, having my first $100,000 profit month in my business in January of 2020, and this is going to be a decently quick video because I what I don't want to do is just overwhelm with information because what I've found is you know the less you do the more you force yourself to do things that actually matter and as I've grown my business I've, I've learned that you know there's really only so many inputs that actually matter okay it's it's really just getting sales calls making sales getting clients results getting them happy and getting them to send their friends to us right and so if i can do that consistently you know i'll, I'll slowly grow and grow and grow my company so i am going to hop into my computer just use a couple of visuals here just to help make my point um and just so you know what we do we help uh consultants coaches agency owners anybody with a service essentially uh for a b2b again or b2c market we A, we help them build an offer, okay, that actually converts, gets results, and it sells itself. B, we help them get sales calls on their calendar, okay, so that they can, you know, grow their company consistently. Three to four sales calls on your calendar a day, that's, that's, that's about $100,000 a month with a three to $6,000 offer, right? And then lastly, we help them with their mindset. That's, this is the biggest thing, your mentality, your self-image, your worldview, the way that you view money, your psychology towards money, uh, and, you know, that's probably a, a topic for another video, but I just want to talk purely about the technical, okay, in this video. So I've got a, just, a, just a simple keynote here. Here's what most people think you need to do, okay, in order to get $200,000 a month with any sort of a business. A lot of people think it's highly scaled paid ads campaigns, huge delivery team and internal structure, venture capital, massive joint ventures with figures in the industry, huge launches and constant hype promo. Uh, and I'm sure you've seen this before, you know, just like crazy over the top hype for an offer or you know a launch of some kind doesn't sustain okay back into the computer here aggressive sales team slash sales strategies multiple offers for different types of customers tons of overhead and expenses maybe a corporate or a rich industry uh, and maybe something completely new and original something nobody's ever seen before i don't think you need all these things uh really you know this is this is what i've seen to be the standard a lot of people may be coming out of you know, business school or, or some sort of a business college even. And I've spoken at these colleges. I, I know a lot of the professors that are at these colleges. My next door neighbor is a marketing professor, right? So I'm, and I've got a good friendship with him. And he and I go back and forth. There's some things we don't agree with and there's some things we do agree with when we're talking about different ideas and topics. And, um, and that's just normal, right? But I've, I've found that it's almost like the industry wants it to be complicated. They, they want running a business to feel and seem complicated because then they can keep you stuck or buying the next program or even in school paying tuition or whatever it might be. Okay, so let me just skip around here. This is, a, this is actually a slide. This is a presentation I made. It's a full presentation for clients inside of our program or inside of uh, you know, our, our individual help, but I'm just going to kind of skip around and use the stuff that is best for this video. So Really, back into my computer here, there's only three things that you need. There's, you just need one core offer. And when I say core offer, I mean you've got one primary thing that you sell. Okay, and when I say one core offer, I mean one thing that you sell, one problem that you solve, one sort of structure, one, one system for delivery for your clients. Okay, if you're a done-for-you agency, for example you know, when you're running ads for clients or you are building funnels or you are building websites or designing apps or whatever it is that you're doing for clients, okay? You have to be narrowed in just enough that you can have the same delivery process for each client, okay? This is, this is one thing that I've learned the hard way, okay? Like, I used to say yes to every client. When I'd say yes to every client, anybody that needed anything, I was stuck at ten to $20,000 a month, okay? And I actually, we had a client come into our program recently and hopefully he doesn't mind me sharing his name. His name's Luca, really great guy. Um, and I'm sure he'd be fine with that, actually. And uh, he told us, he's like, we're doing about twenty dollars to $25,000 a month. You know, we are, we have people paying us literally as low as $300 a month inside of our company. And we've got probably over 30 clients. So $20,000 a month with 30 clients. And sorry, you're gonna have to mind the ambulance. It just happens when you're living downtown. Um, 
30 clients, $20,000 a month. I mean, the average retainer there is just so low. Plus, he says his time is just going everywhere. It seems like eight to 10 hours a day, he's just doing random task work for each client and they're just pulling him in a bunch of different directions. And I'm sure you know this feeling as a consultant or as an agency owner or whatever it is that you coach maybe. Um, you've experienced this feeling of you know, almost being like in a hamster wheel, just stuck of being constantly fed new little tasks. And it feels like instead of having you know, 10 clients, you have 10 bosses. And this is where having one core offer is one of the most important ideas that I've implemented into my business in order to scale, you know, being able to just focus on one core thing. Uh, you know, it's a high ticket offer. It solves one issue. I recommend you build an offer between three and $10,000. Stick to it, okay, um, and, and don't change for at least a year. Stick with that one offer and adjust it a little bit. You'll find that at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year, it's a pretty different offer, but it, it, it adjusts not because you feel like it needs to, but because you notice a trend in your market. You notice people are enjoying you know, this certain part of the offer, not enjoying these parts of the offer. They're, they're paying more when you introduce this idea to the offer, right? Um, and you don't want to sell based on what you do. You want to sell based on outcomes for the client. So when you have one core offer, you know, you can charge... $15,000, $20,000, let's say, to, to build them a funnel or marketing process, right? Or $1,000. You know, you don't have to be at, you know, a high tree. You can even be a beginner just getting started charging $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, right? Um, you're not selling your funnel. You're not selling, you know, your workflow. You are selling where the client wants to get. So on the sales call, you're asking, hey, where are you now? Where do you want to get? And how, how come you haven't gotten there yourself? What's stopping you from getting there yourself? And then when you make them the offer, you're really just saying it could bridge that gap for you. So you're at 10,000 a month, you want to get to 50. The issue is you don't have a good marketing process. Okay, I'd love to help you with that problem. What would it be worth to you to solve this problem? And then that's when you sell your thing. You're not selling it by saying, we'll do this and this and this and this and this. This is what most people do. And I'm sure you feel called out right now. There's a handful of agency owners or consultants or coaches or whatever it is watching this right now that are, that are feeling called out. And it's because uh, you need to change this. You can't keep selling based on what you do. You got to sell based on outcomes and you gotta sell based on um, you know, just one core idea, one core problem that you solve over and over and over and over and over again. And that will almost create a feedback loop effect of clients succeeding, okay? Then you get to collect those testimonials and then feed them back into your marketing so that you get more clients, so you get more clients succeeding, get more testimonials, get more marketing, get more clients, more clients succeeding. And it becomes this loop and the business actually gets easier and easier and easier to run as opposed to harder and harder and harder like most you know, uh, consultants or whatever it might be, uh, manage, you know, it seems to get harder and harder. So that's the magic of one core offer. Okay. Next thing is marketing and sales. So the way we define marketing in my company, because marketing has so many connotations. People think when you say marketing, you think of television, billboard, you think of Facebook advertising, you think of YouTube organic, you think of whatever it might, you, you might be thinking of. People have all kinds of things that come to mind when they think of marketing, but really the way that I have defined it and put it in its place and sort of given it a category in my thinking is building trust at scale and generating sales calls. Okay, if I can build trust at scale and generate sales calls, I am marketing. Either, whether it's sales calls or, you know, getting people to take the next step in my, in my funnel or whatever your funnel might be. So it's building trust and getting people to take action with you. Okay, that's really all that it is. Um, and maybe an additive to that could be building authority. So trust authority and getting your client to take, take action. But even then, you know, trust, I think, negates authority at the end of the day. Okay. Uh, trust is far more important than authority and trust is built with consistency over time. So this is why, you know, when we help our clients run paid advertising, yes, you know, they spend a dollar and they make two or three or four out the back immediately. But really where the most money comes from is that long-term building that audience, getting those emails, Personally, I'm willing to spend $1,000, $2,000 a day and break even on that because I know that that's getting us attention that will turn into money in the future. So marketing to me is about influence, building trust, authority, and then getting people to take action with our offer, okay? And then sales, as I said, it's purely asking questions, figuring out where the client's at, what are their gaps. You're not trying to sell. You're trying to help them understand where they're at where they want to get, what's stopping them, and then aligning what's stopping them with your offer by asking questions. It's, it's truly that simple. Um, 
So those are the only two things you need, one core offer and a decent marketing and sales process in order to scale to $100,000 a month. Now I know $100,000 a month sounds absolutely insane to some people, but let's really just break down the math, okay? Let's assume you have about a 25% closing rate, okay? And I'll actually break out my calculator for you guys just to make sure that I'm giving you guys the right math here, okay? So let's say you have a 25% close rate and your goal is again $100,000 a month. So divide 100,000 by 30 days. So you got 100,000 by 30 days, which is approximately a month. It means $3,300 a day needs to be collected in order to you know, grow, right? Let's say you have an offer that is worth $5,000. Okay, that means you need at least three to four sales calls a day in order to scale to $100,000 a month, right? You might be thinking, where on earth am I gonna source that many calls? Well, you can start to build your organic on YouTube like we do as a company. You can run advertisements to get people to book calls with you, send them down a funnel where they watch a presentation and they book a call. This is what we help our clients do. Uh, you can start a Facebook group, you can start a podcast. There's all kinds of things that you can start as long as you make your audience know that the next step is to book a call with you and get your help it's pretty intuitive to start to get people coming down the pipe and booking calls with you, right? We have clients that come in, they pay us, and literally within a day, they already feel like they've made their investment back. And within a week, they actually tangibly do. And that's because we've got a clean process for delivery, a clean process for sales, and a clean process for you know who it is that we're actually trying to target with our marketing and with our offer, okay? So that is the core of what it takes to scale to $100,000 a month. Those are the three, or those are the two things that I needed in order to get to $100,000 a month. And those are some of the takeaways that I uh, sort of took away from my first six-figure month as a business owner. It's a huge milestone. I believe every entrepreneur deserves to hit $100,000 in a single month at some point in their business. Uh, and for a lot of people, it's still chump change. You know, I've got buddies right now that do 20, 30 million a year. Uh, and, you know, they... $100,000 in a month is just, that's nothing to them. They, they could do that in their sleep. But for a handful of people out there, or most, I'd say a majority of people out there, even five to $10,000 a month sounds crazy. But you have to understand that at the end of the day, people are paying you to solve their problem. And if you can represent the solution to their problem, they'll throw money at you. Your job is to make sure that your message hits the right people and it hits them in the right way that causes them to take action and then work with you. And you wanna build that relationship with them. That's what content is for. Content is, like this video right here, is, is really just a way of building a relationship with a stranger. And if you come from a place in your heart of, of genuinely desiring to help and to, and to help people succeed, people will feel that, they'll resonate with that, and they'll wanna work with you, especially if you have a good framework for helping them succeed. So that's what I learned from my first $100,000 month in my business. And that's not revenue, that is profit because you know my company overhead is, is so low because you know we know how to deliver results for cheap for our clients okay so hope you enjoyed this video hope you got a lot out of this i enjoy making videos like this breakdown videos like this uh you know i'm planning I, one of my goals for this year is to have a hundred thousand dollars single day and i believe we're going to be able to do that by selling a couple slots to a high ticket mastermind uh for you know clients that are wanting to sort of ascend and, and you know grow their businesses even further so that's my next goal. You know, um, right now we're sitting at about anywhere from 80 to 110,000 a month ish right now. We're five days into the month right now. We've done $28,000 in my business so far in March. Um, and so that means we'll probably have another six figure month this month if things continue to go this direction. Uh, but to be honest with you, I'm really not focused on sales right now. I'm focused on building an amazing product and an amazing service. And if I could honestly slow down sales for a minute, I probably would so that we could work on the service. Uh, it's already amazing, but um, obviously, you know, I've just got very high standards for our clients and the people that work with us. And I want to make sure that they're all served well and uh, they feel like it was the best investment they've made into their business ever. And that's my personal sort of goal. So hopefully you enjoyed this video breakdown of my first $100,000 profit month at 21 years old, running my online business. Uh, if you learned anything today, share it in the comments. Feel free to, uh, and be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's a great place to sort of keep up to date with what I'm doing every single day. And if you're ready to take the next step, take the leap towards growing your company, take the leap towards solving the problems that you might have felt called out in this video today. And uh, you understand the idea that what got you here will not get you there and you need help in order to continue to scale. Book your call with my team down below and we'll see if you're a good fit. We only make offers to people that we know we can help for certain and that's, uh, just a hygiene standard for me and my company. So 
Uh, if that sounds like you, you sound like you could use some help, book a call, fill out the form in full, give us as much information as you can. It'll really help us make sure that you get the most out of your 45 to 60 minutes with us. Uh, and look, you've really got two options when you're listening to somebody like myself, whether you're on the podcast or on YouTube. You can either take this information, try and apply it on your own. I'd say, you know, 5% of our audience can actually tangibly do that. Or you, you just get help from people that have done it helped other people do it. We've got three clients that we've worked with directly and gotten them to a million dollars a year. Uh, and I just, we're always looking for more people like that. So if you feel like you're in a place uh, financially as well as mentally and emotionally to really go all in in your business, just come work with us. Let us help direct that energy in a positive direction and make sure that you know that you're taking the right actions in your company and in your business, okay? So if that sounds like you, schedule your call. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.